that's been confirmed. We're getting a state of play on May 30th, 3 p.m. Pacific time, 6 p.m. Eastern time, 11 p.m. UK time, which means it's at midnight if you are in Europe. It will be 30 minutes and include updates on PS5 and PSVR 2 titles, plus a look at PlayStation Studio games arriving later this year. And that means some interesting things, I will go over it. Yes, it's sadly no showcase, but I still think it could be a really fun state of play with some great reveals. Here's everything that could be there, and even if half of the things show up, it will be a great presentation. So of course, leave a like if you are curious or hyped about the state of play and let's go. Now we already heard that we won't get any Wolverine news anytime soon, with the game also seemingly planned for 2026, looking at the Insomniac leak from last year. But that does not rule out any Insomniac related announcements. I actually think they will shadow drop the first of the three free DLCs for Spider-Man 2 that were also part of that leak. And we could actually already see it in the debug menu that was part of the most recent Spider-Man 2 update. They removed it now, but yeah, Beetle is coming as a boss fight. It was first planned for Q1 of 2024, but that seemingly got pushed, so I can see them have it ready for a launch directly after the show. A more safe bet though is a brand new Astrobot game. Not only because developer Team Asobi has not released a title since the launch of the PS5 with Astro's Playroom of course, but also because many very credible reporters have said that they heard that the new game is already coming this year. And I'm curious if it will have some sort of PlayStation VR 2 functionality or if they're just gonna launch a PS5 only game. Like the previous big Astrobot was of course a PlayStation VR title, but Sony has kind of forgotten about their $600 hardware. I think it will at least be a PlayStation 5 platformer. But yeah, high chance we will see the cute robot during the PlayStation showcase. Sony recently said that they still expect to launch Concord this year. This is a PvP shooter set in space that they last year revealed with this trailer. Like if they want to launch it in the next few months, then they of course have to show gameplay, maybe announce a beta and give us a firm release date. Another sure bet is Until Dawn. The game is of course getting a PS5 and PC re-release later this year as was already announced. So getting a release date, which likely around Halloween you would think right, only makes sense at this state of play. And that brings us to Horizon because it seems that the series will be present with at least one, but maybe even two announcements because Sony removed Horizon Zero Dawn from PS Plus Extra just a week ago and they did something similar last year with Spider-Man 1 before the big Spider-Man 2 gameplay reveal. So this is likely because they plan to announce that rumored Zero Dawn PS5 remaster and by removing it on PS Plus, people on PS5 have a harder time going back to the PS4 version. So high chance we finally see it, I'm really curious if they improve the conversations, if it will look as good as Forbidden West. But again, there's another Horizon project that could be here, it actually has a higher chance to show up than the remaster and that is a Lego Horizon game. I talked about it in the Sunday video already but Lego and PlayStation are working on a new game called Lego Horizon Adventures that was described as Forbidden West but with Lego. A trailer for this is ready and the trademark has been found as well so it really seems like it will show up at the state of play meaning that we will go another PlayStation event without a look at the Horizon online game. That by the way has now been in development for more than 6 years and 4 months. Now I could totally see them save those big reveals for a PlayStation showcase later in the year though to hype up the PS5 Pro. Like I don't think we will see the hardware here at the state of play that really makes no sense and would only hurt the normal PS5 sales as the console is likely planned for holiday 2024. Again during the state of play we will only see the PlayStation Studio games arriving later this year. So probably the ones I mentioned already, the only other possible candidate I could see is Bluepoint. Which just like the Astrobot team did a PS5 launch title more than 3 years ago and has been very quiet since. They are working on original content now instead of a full on remake, so it likely takes more time, but that would of course be a nice surprise to see it here and have it be out in 2024. But really, that is all. As Sony already said, there will not be any new major existing PlayStation franchise titles before April 2025. So yeah, we will not see the big new title from the Days Gone makers, but also live service games like Fair Games and Marathon that are both coming in 2025 or later will not be here. Yes, including 
including Ghost of Tsushima 2 that will likely be saved for a PlayStation showcase around the reveal of the PS5 Pro. Now let's look at the third parties and I have to mention one first party surprise that we could see. We will of course be live reacting to the show, hope you can watch with us, a link to the countdown in the pinned comments and of course subscribe for a breakdown and coverage of the news afterwards. Capcom is always at the summer state of play or showcase. Two years ago at a state of play they actually revealed the Resident Evil 4 remake. Resident Evil 9 is up next but it needs more time and we now also learned that Capcom is working on a Code Veronica remake but that is also likely still far away. Side chance they show Monster Hunter Wilds instead which would be really cool to see. Otherwise, I could see the game show up at other Summer Game Fest events, which is of course the case for all the third parties I mentioned here, of course. Although there is a reason to believe that they will choose PlayStation over the others. Now we know that there's a Silent Hill livestream directly after the state of play, so they will probably save the news about the remake of the second game there. They did recently change the face of the main character, by the way, so I hope the overall game looks better as well compared to the last showing. And Konami, of course, also has the Metal Gear Solid 3 remake that should also be out this year. And while it was announced at last year's PlayStation Showcase, the gameplay trailer you see here was during an Xbox show, so it could totally be saved for Xbox's conference on June 9th. Other third parties like Warner Bros. Games could totally show up at Sony as they had the deal for Suicide Squad and Hogwarts Legacy, so maybe they got a partnership for Wonder Woman as well. Like I still have hope for a surprise gameplay reveal with maybe a release date for 2024 remember that the game this team made previously was shadow of war and that has been almost seven years ago i also fear that wonder woman will have a hard time in the already crowded 2025 year so it could totally be at this sony event we of course know that hogwarts legacy still has a summer update planned but it will just be a small way of us showing appreciation so not like a big update, but if they somehow still have DLC plans for that game, we could totally see it here. Although I think they're probably moving to a sequel immediately, so we won't hear from them for a while. Square Enix has Kingdom Hearts 4 coming up and with them bringing the previous games to Steam, you could also think that they have a plan to maybe reveal more about the next entry soon. Although it could also be safe for Summer Game Fest as last year that's where they showed the Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth trailer. But I still think we will get something Square Enix at this Sony event. It could be the Final Fantasy 9 remake that has been rumored for a long time. And we also know that Deck 9, the developers of Life is Strange Before the Storm and True Colors is doing a new Life is Strange game that should also be announced very soon. During the state of play in January, Sony announced a VR Metro game, but we also know that a big console and PC title is in the works. So maybe if PlayStation has some sort of Metro deal, I can see them announce the next big title at this event. While last year the PlayStation Showcase was not that great, Phantom Blade Zero did steal the show and we haven't heard anything about this very cool looking game since, but it would be awesome to get an update from this Hong Kong studio again. Another Chinese game that has been quiet for some time is Lost Soul Aside, but also looks pretty promising, so it would be cool to see again and I can also see Sony try to get some sort of deal with Black Myth Wukong. We recently got a brand new trailer that you see right here at a Chinese event but the game is still not up for pre-order even though it has an official release date so maybe that changes during the show otherwise I expect it later at a summer game fest event. Ubisoft last year surprised everyone with the first look at Assassin's Creed Mirage gameplay during the PlayStation showcase. For Valhalla Ubisoft had a gameplay trailer like this as well before showing the walkthrough at their own event so it is possible that they will do something similar for Assassin's Creed Shadows although I would not hold your breath because they really said that gameplay would come in June so likely June 10th during Ubisoft Forbes. But again we could be surprised what is more likely though is a quick look at the avatar expansions that are still expected with the first one already planned for this summer so a trailer with info and a release date is something I could see during the show. Of course, curious to hear what you expect, drop it in the comments. I want to mention the new Tomb Raider game that should be open world and set in India as well. Like, that could totally be here, but also at other events. Now, I want to mention another super likely thing, and that is the God of War Ragnarok PC version. That has been rumored for a while now and is seemingly launching soon already. So, before the usual two-year window for PS5 games. But in that game, I still think they left that Atreus 
story in a really weird place and there's just so much room for growth before the next real big mainline title and Sony is liking the smaller Miles Morales and Lost Legacy type experiences for their big games with Spider-Man 2 seemingly getting a Venom focused title next year and that game is getting DLC now Venom title next year God of War got DLC last year so maybe we get like the smaller game this year would be huge to get that revealed with a 2024 date but it will likely not happen like let's not expect it i'll just leave it at that subscribe for way more coverage again a link to our live reaction hope to see you there will be in the pinned comments and leave a like to show your support and check out my previous video with the biggest gaming news of the week by clicking on the screen i will speak to you very soon goodbye